BP has been using surface uh, aerial dispersants, mainly by airplane, a little bit by boat. For weeks they've been asking us about injecting dispersant at the site of the leak. We did three different tests until we figured out how to test accurately for subsea dispersant use, and they are currently using dispersant at the site of the leak, injecting it. They use a lot less when they do it down there than they do when they spray it on top. A few days ago, we uh, asked BP to look at using a different dispersant. They've been using the Corexit. We asked them to look and get back to us and give us an alternative. I wasn't satisfied with the answer that we got. The answer we got back from, from BP to me seemed more like a defense of their current choice. Reminded me a little bit of that old commercial, I'd rather fight than switch. And it seems to me that we owe the American people and certainly the people of the Gulf better information than that. Science should be guiding our decision on what dispersant to use. Now I want to be clear. The data that we're taking right now, including toxicity tests, when we inject, do not show a problem with toxicity. We see dispersion happening. We see dissolved oxygen that looks good. But it seems to me that a month into this and with no end in sight necessarily, we're planning for the worst and hoping for the best, we need to ask ourselves whether there's not a better product out there. And BP seemed to spend a lot of time saying why everything else didn't work, but they really didn't give me a feeling of comfort that they were asking honest questions. So we'll do it ourselves. We have a lab, BPA does, in Gulf Breeze, Florida, and we're going to set up a series of toxicity tests, biodegradation tests, to look at what's going on out there now.